today's topic, chloralkali membrane cell process. The chloralkali process is an industrial process for the electrolysis of sodium chloride solutions to produce chlorine, sodium hydroxide and hydrogen. Chloralkali process in use since the 19th century, it is a major industry in the United States, Western Europe and Japan. It became a major source of chlorine gas in the 20th century. Although chemist William Cruikshank first formed chlorine gas by electrolysis of brine in 1800, it took 90 years before electrolysis was successfully used on a commercial scale. There are three production methods that are in use in the chloralkali process, membrane cell, diaphragm cell and mercury cell. However, we will only focus on the membrane cell process today. During the membrane cell electrolysis, sodium ions in some water permeates through the membrane and enters the cathode compartment. Chlorine gas is formed in the anode compartment. In the cathode compartment water molecules are electrolyzed, releasing hydrogen gas. An ion permeable ion exchange membrane allows sodium ions to enter a second chamber where they react with hydroxide ions to produce caustic soda. The diagram here shows the reaction scheme of the electrolysis process in a membrane electrolyzer. The figure shows the process flow diagram of chloralkali process using membrane cell. The process begins with the pretreatment of brine to remove impurities and saturate salt solution. Pretreated brine with dilute sodium hydroxide is then processed in membrane cell to produce chlorine and hydrogen gas. The chlorine gas is cooled and liquefied through a series of compression and cooling stages before being stored in tank. There are a few process parameters that can affect the performance of the membrane. The electrolyzer condition, such as current density, temperature and electrode gap, the onolite condition, such as onolite concentration, acidity and brine impurities, the catholite condition, caustic concentration and caustic purity. The membrane cell of chloralkali process is the membrane electrolyzer. It consists of a cathode made of stainless steel or nickel coated with a catalyst that is more stable than the substrate and a metal anode. It also consists of two membrane layers with one of these layers made of perfluorinated polymers with substituted carboxylic groups and adjacent to the cathodic side. The members of this group are Chang Weicheng, Lim Kai Seong and Nor Hidaya Ishak, and we would like to thank our lecturer Dr. Azam Tafik Mohammed Din. Thanks for watching, don't forget to click the like button.